Welcome back to Fox West Texas. Let's go ahead and get into your sports news. San Angelo Central High School had their spring football game. Let's check it out. Now, it was held at the San Angelo Stadium. Fans gathering to watch the Bobcats touch the field just a few months before the season begins in August. The white team getting started early, moving the ball down the field. Check out the long throw there by the QB. The Bobcats finished last season 4-7, and seven, but looking to turn things around when August rolls around. Their first matchup is against Shoemaker on August 26th. Now, also, the Angelo State football team will be hosting summer camps. The first stop will be at, be at Roosevelt High School in San Antonio on May 20th at 6 p.m., then in Houston on May 21st at C.E. King's High School at 11 a.m. and Ridge Point High School at 6 p.m. The third stop will be in Dallas at Richland High School on May 22nd at 11 a.m. and Mesquite High School at 6 p.m. Lastly, they will stop in Austin at Huddle High School on May 23rd at 6 p.m., to register, you can visit www.ramfootballcamps.com. In other news, five members of the ASU baseball team were named to the Division II Conference Commissioners Association All-Region Teams. Aaron Walters, Austin Beck, Justin Lee, Benjamin Elder, and Jake Rogers all picked up honors. Now the Rams will continue LSC tournament play tomorrow at Foster Field against the loser of the Texas A&M Kingsville and NMSU Denver game. And starting tomorrow, the Wallhawks baseball team will bat up for the 3A regional quarterfinal championship game. The Hawks will take on the Bowie Jackrabbits at 730 in Abilene. The game will be played at Hardin Simmons University and game two will be played on Saturday at 5 p.m. Now tonight, kicking off the Western Conference Finals between the Dallas Mavericks and the Golden State Warriors. Game one is in action right now in the Bay Area. Both teams competing to see who's the best in the West. Well, I think I know the answer to that question. Golden State leading at halftime. You see the score 54 to 45. We'll see if the Mavs can answer back. Well, that will do it in sports for now. More later in the show, but more news right after the break.